foreigners coming to Australia. Australia is one of the largest capitalist economies in the world with a GDP of 1.57 trillion US dollars. Its growth is largely dependent on the mining and agricultural sectors, its products exported mainly to the East Asian market. PNG is not a large trading partner. Australia is the closest neighbour, but its restrictive visa policies have even our Prime Minister calling for relaxed procedures. Australian High Commissioner to PNG Deborah Stokes said more Papua New Guineans can travel to Australia now. Australia is a country that is built on migration. It is essential to our economy and who we are. One in four Australians is born overseas. And today, one of the biggest sources of, of migrants to Australia are coming from China and India. So we welcome people from overseas in Australia. Many government institutions and the private sector attended the session this morning. They were told visa processing days have been drawn down. Those wanting visas can apply online. PNG passport holders who transit through Australia for less than eight hours do not need visas. Citizens from more than 100 countries do not have such a visa-free transit. In the last 12 months, there has been an increase of 20% travelling to the country to either visit, study or work there. We've also seen a threefold increase in the number of students going to Australia in the last six years. Meantime, Australia has provided 16 billion Kina in aid assistance to PNG. A similar arrangement is done with China. The Pacific Seasonal Worker Scheme has been encouraged. Also this year, 100 students from both countries will be taking part in a work holiday program. Bernadette Effie, National MTV News.